I'm Cheryl Gordon McLeod, and I'm a justice on the Washington Supreme Court, but I'm also a former public defender. I am thrilled beyond words to present this year's award, the Sally P. Savage Leadership in Philanthropy Award to a public defender, Karen Murray. Her day-to-day -day work is the definition of giving. The way that she does her day-to-day -day work is even more philanthropic, not only towards her clients, but she has been a mentor to countless young attorneys over the years. And her public activities, most notably being an architect of the King County Bar Association's Dr. Martin Luther King Annual Awards Luncheon is a testament to that. I am thrilled to be able to present this year's award to Karen Murray. Karen is what philanthropy looks like. The person who inspired me is my mother. She raised eight kids on her own. She always had the mantra, whatever you have, you always have enough to give, even if you had very, very little. When we're talking about leadership in philanthropy, it's about leading others in giving, leading others in service, raising money for organizations. And Karen has done that for decades through the Seattle University School of Law as a past president of the Lauren Miller Bar Association and as a participant in the Philip L. Burton Scholarship Award Committee as the co-chair of the King County Bar Association's MLK Luncheon Committee. Karen lives the life of a true humanitarian and a person who's committed to social justice. She's dedicated her life to public service because she saw the richness of life come to the embodiment of the people that she helped. She was raised in love and she communicates love and she passes love on. What inspired me to want to do this work, to become a lawyer, is because of where I grew up, seeing the inequities that occurred, and not really knowing that terminology at the time. I just felt it, and I always was fighting for the underdog. The key for me is her ability to serve as a mentor for so many people in the community, and she never says no. She's been a tremendous person to have in my life because, you know, I came to Seattle from somewhere else like she did. I didn't have anyone sort of like offering me jobs or points of advice. I was the first lawyer in my family. To have someone like Karen to reach out and to say, why don't you come intern with me for a while or why don't you come watch me in court or why don't you think about this career path or that career path? It was really invaluable and Karen was ready on day one, on minute one, to step up. Karen, if I've never told you before, and I've told you a thousand times, thank you so much for all the time that you helped feed us. Over the course of your life, you fed so many people intellectually, philosophically, and your mentorship and their souls. This was definitely the icing on the cake at the end of my 29 plus years in a profession that I have loved for all those years as a public defender. Those I would like to thank is for those who have acted as my mentor, Mr. Don Matson, and then for those that I've learned from since then, and those are my mentees. I grew because of them. This is such an honor and I am so grateful. I'm Tracy Flood president of the Washington State Bar Foundation Board. We are so pleased to co-present the Sally P. Savage Philanthropy Award to Karen Murray, who truly embodies the spirit of giving that this award represents. As you just saw, Karen's generosity is well known. Her generosity in her time, resources, and wisdom from her mentoring of young attorneys 
to her leadership of the King County Bar Association's annual Martin Luther King Scholarship Luncheon. She represents the best of our profession. She was also the first public defender who served as the Lauren Miller Bar Association's president, whom she also received the Lifetime Achievement Award from. The Washington State Bar Foundation provides funding to the WSBA programs that promote equity, justice, and diversity. In our legal profession, donations to the Foundation Board have supported the DSBA's diversity efforts to help ensure that the legal profession represents the community and reflects the communities that we represent and serve, as well as the Moderate Means Program and powerful communities grants and projects, both of which have helped promote legal aid to people across Washington State. Your gifts have helped to ensure this access to justice, especially for our most vulnerable populations. Congratulations again, Karen. We are so honored to present you with this award. Now, if you have been inspired by Karen and the other Apex Award recipients this evening, please consider a donation to the Foundation Board. These donations, as I said, will support our efforts to advance equity, justice, and diversity. Thank you.